event was a summit about regional security. But for President Omar al-Bashir, it was a platform to promote Sudan as a country that plays a growing role in international affairs, that it's a partner for peace, and that it's time America lifted the sanctions it imposed 20 years ago. But unfortunately, it has hit the nation and it has made the people to suffer uh, largely in providing life's needs, uh, lay basic uh, requirements uh, for its life. Uh, and the country has endeavored a lot of efforts uh, for uh, trying to curtailing these uh, negative impacts and uh, enabling the national economy for having positive growth. Uh. America imposed the sanctions after accusing Sudan of supporting terrorism. Relations have thawed of late. Sudan is now seen by some as an ally in the war on terror. Just this past week, Sudan came off a U.S. travel ban list, and there's growing optimism the U.S. will finally lift the sanctions when the decision is announced 12 October. President Bashir also spoke on his peace efforts in Sudan. This uh, initiative of the national dialogue uh, and, and, and then getting all the political force uh, with all seriousness and effectiveness and efficiency has uh, drawn a real, this has led that uh, the security uh, situation of Sudan has been extended throughout the country, especially in Darfur states where the efforts of enhancing peace in this region has sort of the gradual withdrawal of uh, UNAMED forces. He's also trying to mediate south of the border, where civil war has been raging since late 2013. And I would like here uh, to affirm through this uh, conference uh, that we will spare no efforts uh, in giving all the assistance support for our refugees from our neighbor uh, country, South Sudan. President Omar al-Bashir made a persuasive case here. The question now is, has he done enough to convince his counterpart at the White House? Penina Karibe, CGTN, in Khartoum, Sudan.